So I knew Adam previously, and so he kind of roped me in of like, hey, I have this cool idea. I know you enjoy embedded Linux stuff. And so kind of got to get get involved in this whole process and work on a really cool project. So. That's that's what we want is like, you know, you walk outside just as is with the built-in antennas and we'll start catching planes. Like we're tracking some Southwest flights, like anywhere from like taking off and landing at the airport to all the way up. We actually caught a guy that was like over the Atlantic flying, I think, to like Toronto, and, a, and there's a relay. His okay. planes can relay ADS-B, so oh, it's yeah. not like yeah. the original transmission from him, but it's like he sends and like bounces off, bounces off like another flight, you know, 40,000 feet that way, and then he gets to us. It's pretty cool. There's a Game Boy emulator on here as well, of course. We have to, we have to do it. I mean, we have a dual, dual core, uh, like uh, dual core 1.2 gigahertz CPUs, so we have uh, more than enough power to play Game Boy. We have uh, enough CPU to play. Uh, to run Linux, so Game Boy's no problem. I guess a little bit of backstory. Uh, we've had all of these um, BMUs here. We've had a bunch of issues where we'd get really obscure bugs, where like the button wouldn't work, or like the voltage and a bunch of the values were always reading zero in the battery management chip, and it was really difficult to figure out what was going on because one of the boards worked, four of the other of the actual prototype ones didn't work, and it turns out that the whole issue was that there was a bad solder joint on the ground pin. And there's two ground pins. So there's the center ground pin and then there's one other ground pin and they're connected by about 40 ohms. But that's not, it's enough to actually make it partially work, but not enough to have it fully work and you get really weird bugs like your voltage is only reading 10% of the time. We actually found the issue at DEF CON on the first day. We gave 2x the amount of time we thought would needed for the boards to come in. And yet, they still weren't even able to get not even 100 in and we had to fight to get those 100 into DEF CON. But all the production boards, except for one, we call the blessed board, was actually assembled. <laughs> they assembled incorrectly, and we had to manually go in with a soldering iron on each one of these and retouch up that single pin on the BMU. When, when we were like doing debugging for the, the battery management, I, it was like 3 a.m. one night. I'm, I, I was just swapping it manually, with, like, 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 like an iPhone light, like, you know, at like 3 a.m. just like manually re soldering. That, that thing has caused us so many headaches. Okay. Oh, hundreds of engineering hours down the drain with that. So the, the ground planes are like a lot of copper pores that are very, um, like very well stitched. So you, it's basically, whenever you're trying to solder something on ground on these, it's like you're, you're basically trying to like solder a heat sink. It's like the battery tab, like it, you're literally soldering a heat sink because it is actually designed to sink not only a lot of current, but it's designed to sink heat <laughs> from like battery charge. Because you can do up to three amp battery charge. It looks very basic, straightforward. Like I'm sure that, oh, like, you know, can I buy this as a kid? Because surely it's like, you know, you put the screen on, you got four buttons, like how hard could it be? I believe it's at least 350 components on the back, all 0402 or 0603, or QFNs or BGAs. So have fun. I have assembled these by hand. Now the production boards like the prototypes. I, I have done it by hand. It will take you a couple hours. One of our favorite. So like the displays were actually like custom made for us. We wanted it to be a nice dev kit for other SAOs, so we give like I squared C, CAN bus, GPIO. It's all exposed over Python with all the libraries, and so you can just if you want to make an SAO, get one of these badges. You can actually do the development really easily with it. If you want to do external antenna, you have the opportunity, but if you're going to be adding on and messing around with external anyway, it's four pins, one uh, for grounding, and then there's a center pin on the inside, and you just solder all those down, and you can get external antenna, but everyone, it's included, so you can just solder it on as it comes in your bag. Yeah, yeah, no no magnetometer in this, but the, in the radar scope, you can pull up a little cursor and you can actually see what each of these flights are. It's kind of a limited edition. You can, if you want one, make sure to get one. <laughs>